I completely understand now why they asked furries to market this movie. Welcome to The Daily Needs, a daily look at classic films, modern cinema, and the world of professional wrestling. Today we're talking about the uh, recently released, I think on Blu-ray and digital like this week, Zootopia! Uh, the newest uh, film from Disney Animation. Um, the, the film that in, in ten years will spark an influx of furries. Um, and a, a brilliant um, look at prejudice in America and well overall overall but like, specifically specifically in the United States but done so well for children um, we just saw it we actually saw it in the, our local uh, dirt cheap theater uh, in a room full of kids and kids laughing the entire time so we know we can't just speculate we know this appealed to children but there were moments um, I was like it's too real this is getting too real um, like, it, the hints of the AIDS epidemic in the 80s, the current crisis with, um, the Syrian refugees and the fears of ISIS, like, were there, of course, the, between the blacks and the whites in, in inner city America, like, all these prejudice, prejudices and real world situations were, were emulated in this movie for kids and emulated really well and in a really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Easy to grasp. Yeah, in a, in a palatable manner. Um, what Inside Out did for being for kids being able to discuss their emotions, this movie will do for kids being able to discuss how they feel about prejudice, etc. It's a good way to mm -hmm. start that conversation. Yes, yes, it's a very good way to start the conversation. And even be we started on a really serious note with this. This movie's hilarious. Oh yeah, it's it so funny. Bright and colorful and charming and full of animal puns. So many animal Popsicles. puns. Popsicles. Wrangled. <laughs> Wrangled. Uh, Floatson and Floatson 2. <laughs> Pig Hero 6. <laughs> um, Duke Wesselton. Sorry, Duke Weaselton, played by Alan Tudyk, the same gentleman who played him in, uh, or played the same character name in Frozen, which was great. The, the, just the, the digs at Frozen that Officer Bogo was making. Oh, yes. yes. Just let it go. And I, I think, is that the one I applauded? Yes. I applauded one joke because it nailed it. Um, just fantastic, fun movie. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I, I, at one point, I leaned in and said, we should have saw this in 3D. Yes. That was... Um, there's a point where they're riding in... I believe it's Rainforest? Yeah, they're in the Rainforest They're in the Rainforest, they're rainforest and they're riding a uh, one of those tram cars, and mm -hmm. it's... It, the rain is coming down, and it was beautiful, beautifully animated. And, yeah. Um, um, knowing that there were more worlds that we didn't get to see, uh, just because they had to sacrifice sequel, it. Sequel, 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 sequel. Because they had to sacrifice <laughs> it for, um, for runtime, and they didn't really have a chance to put it into the mm -hmm. movie. Um, it's, the worlds that we did get were gorgeous yeah, and amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. Great, great nods for, like, great jokes for adults with, the uh, the bunnies multiplying, and the, the rising population in, in uh, what's the name of their town? Bunnyboro? Bunnyboro. Bunnyboro. Um, like, little jokes like that. Even and the parking ticket thing was something that I think was put in there for adults. Oh, yeah. Like, that is the most, like, take, this character is, like, the most adorable, lovable character, Judy Hobbs, and just can make, can make her the most hated profession in big cities, parking enforcement. But she redeems herself by giving herself a ticket, which I... I have a vendetta against LA parking enforcement illegally parking their cars, as does Cody. So seeing that gave me a glimmer of hope. Um, unfortunately, we do live in the real world. That's besides the point. Um, but yeah, like we were saying, all this stuff is so beautifully animated. I want to say like the scale, having the the chase when she's chasing Weaselton after he steals um, uh, the plot device. <laughs> the moldy onions. The moldy onions. Um, She's chasing him through... I have a sneeze coming on. <laughs> God, Bless you. All right. Um, she's chasing him through, like, a normal part of town or, a big, like, a bigger animal part of town, and then she's chasing into, like, the rodent part little of town. Rodentia. And all of a sudden... Little rodentia. And all of a sudden, like, these small animals are taller than the buildings. 
And these little little rodents are walking around like these big giant foxes and bunnies chasing each other around and it was just like shocking. It's kind of what I wanted all the um, fight scenes in Ant-Man to be like with like playing with scale and they did that in Zootopia and it was really really cool. The one thing, uh, this is a minor spoiler for the identity of one of the characters, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Big is a rodent. And he's the godfather. He's the godfather. <laughs> and one of the... I should have seen that coming, but I didn't. One of the problems that I had with that is everything was designed... I mean, granted, most of it is used by the polar bears, but I wish there had been more items designed for use by him, so there would have been subtle hints that mm -hmm. it was going to end up being a rodent, but I understand... But he was in Contra Town, yeah. Yeah. So that, I guess it made sense, but it was... And everything they, they was had designed to, I think they tried the to. They, had, they tried to keep it... But like no, at the wedding, like the they Nick had, the had his stuff. tiny fork for his little piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like oh, it was so much fun. Just, Jason oh, Bateman so is weirdly charming. He as, is as the fox. Like I, I don't know. I I know him best from Arrested Development, and he's like the kindest, hardest character in that show, which isn't saying a lot because everyone in that show is just despicable. <laughs> But like, so it was nice seeing him play like the the scam artist, scam artist with a heart of gold. Like that was, that was and nice, of, and he played it very, very well. And of course, great. Jennifer Goodwin, literally the cutest human being on earth, was played Judy the Hobbs. cutest character ever. And Cody doesn't didn't always know this, but bunnies are one of my favorite animals, and I think they're adorable. So I'm sitting in the theater like this the whole time, just like <laughs> she's so cute, she's gonna pat her little head, no fur. And I don't know if anybody else felt this, but until the end when we actually saw who played her, I did not know. I kept thinking Rashida Jones played Mrs. Otterton. I don't know why. I think it was the sweater because she always wore a sweater in Parks mm. and Rec. And I think that's why I thought that it was Rashida Jones. Yeah, great cast, great cast, great animation, great story. Like everything, they just kind of nailed it on this movie. Disney's been on fire since uh, Tangled, I guess. Tangled wasn't that big of a... No, but it was, it was good. Yeah. Tangled was very good. And are we then... talking content-wise, or are we talking money? No, I'm talking, I'm talking content. Like, they've yeah. been on a, on a streak of very, very good uh, 3D animated pictures since uh, since Tangled. Because it was Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Frozen, Big Hero 6, and then Zootopia. And, like, every single one's been... They haven't done anything since Big Hero 6? I mean, I guess it's been a year and a half, so it's about as long. Yeah, as I can't think of anything that was between that they've done. I keep thinking of Pixar. Yeah, because Pix Pixar had like Inside Out and Good Dinosaur and, and stuff as well. Yeah. But no, Disney's been killing it lately, and I'm looking forward to whatever they come out with next. Moana. It, it better be Zootopia too. After that, well, it's gonna be Frozen too, and then gigantic. Hashtag give also a girlfriend. <laughs> I could care less about Frozen 2. <laughs> that's the only thing I know that's going on in Frozen 2. So. Yeah, I, they, I would love to see a sequel to Zootopia, or... I, I want to say, like, a TV show, but they wouldn't be able to give it the same budget that the yeah. film had, and the whatever budget they gave it, they used every cent of it to make it as pretty as it was. Yeah. Gorgeous movie. Um, it would be fun to see... You know how they did Tangled Ever After? It'd be yeah, fun to see shorts. I'm sure they'll do a Zootopia. short. They'll do a short. They'd be stupid not to. It's too good not to. Um, I think it's more appealing than Frozen as a film overall. Frozen, because um, I, well, I personally, Frozen didn't appeal to me, and this one very much so. I think The one thing, the one thing that, the one nitpick I have with this movie is there is a dearth of female characters, um, female main characters, at mm -hmm. least, because you've got, uh, you've got Judy, and you've got Nick, and Officer Bogo, and Clawhauser, and, um, the only other female that you see any decent amount of Bellwether. time is Bellwether. Um, I did appreciate, however, that her, um... Drill instructor in Police Academy was female. Yes. I appreciated that. Yes. Um, she she kind of had Ray syndrome. And you had where a, she's the only important female. Yeah, but. and you had you had Gazelle. 
What, is that what her name was? Yes. It was just Gazelle? It was just Gazelle. All right. I feel I felt like that was wrong as soon as it left my mouth. No. Um, but like she was she was an important character not in that she did anything but that she um, was like she a was beacon. kind of a motif. Yeah, she was a motif throughout, which was cool. Um, yeah, celebrity and, and, cameo uh, the and character. Clawhauser was almost certainly a homosexual, which was really fun. Which I liked. It yeah. worked really really well, and it, and it made it that much sadder when they pulled him from the front from the front desk. Um, and it almost. Um, you could see, like, Judy realizing when he got pulled, she was like, what did I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, running out of space on the disc. So, let's wrap this up. Great movie. Check it out. If you haven't already, if you're watching this, you probably have. Um, it's a fantastic, fantastic movie. I cried a little. Yeah. I did not, but I probably w could have. Anywho, uh, that's all I got for tonight. Still not sure what I'm watching tomorrow. Um, He'll make figure it, up, it out. Make it up as we go along. But until then, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, let me know your favorite uh, animal pun from this movie. Like, sign joke. Simpsons gag, if you will. Tahunga. <laughs> fine. It's, it's pronounced Tahunga. Oh, <laughs> nailed it. We live like two blocks from Tahunga. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter. Yes, tell the internet where we live. Tahunga is like 70 miles long. <laughs> It's still 70 it's, miles. It goes from, like, Ventura to, like, Palmdale. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, like, share, subscribe to the comment, comment section below, and follow me on Twitter at Daily Needs, and until tomorrow, bye.